Hey guys, it's Q here with YouTube's most underproduced, poorly produced Amiga channel, Hold and Modify. And I posted a really short video earlier for my Amiga mystery box that I guess really wasn't a mystery box, but we just like to have fun, don't we? But Chris Edwards had graciously included a PC converted floppy drive that he, oh, oh boy, well, something just fell off it. Um, We'll cut that out in the edit. So, and also he has uh, painted the faceplate to match uh, the, the Amiga uh, 2000. Look at that. But this is an Amiga 1200. So all of his beautiful paint work uh, will be not seen as I'll most likely pop this faceplate off. But I'm not gonna do that now. What I need to do is get into this Amiga 1200 and then while well, I'm uh, over here looking for whatever just flew off, I will uh, find it, and I did. Yay, okay, it was a screw. So uh, what we're gonna do next is, yes, just uh, open this up. I don't keep the screws in this because you're always going into this. So just know this, don't, don't put all the screws in. Never put all the screws in. That's, that's the lesson of this video. If you're, if you're new to the Amiga scene, Put in the minimal amount of screws that you need so things are properly grounded and don't flop around. But you're going to be going in and out of that thing so often, even when you're convinced you are done. You said, it's done, it's perfect, I will never have to open it again. You're going to have to open it up. So I'd be very gentle here because this ribbon cable on the keyboard here is this little guy here, if you can see that. It's very sensitive. Um, there's no floppy in it right now because I just don't have any working floppies. So this has been converted. Pin one is where it's, it's over here. So we got the red, this is already set up for Amiga floppy. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually get it in here. I have not popped off the faceplate, so it's gonna be a little janky. Um, but you know, that, that's it's fine for now. I'll pop it off later. We'll use our wonderful magnetic screwdriver here to carefully screw our drive in. Don't German torque it, it only needs to be in there enough. Okay, we'll plug in the cable. Plug in the cable, plug in the power. I mean, he told me this drive works, so I, I'm, not, I'm not expecting any kind of a shocker here. But this would confirm if, uh, like I said in my video, every floppy drive I have for this 1200 just stopped working. Like collectively stopped working. I don't I don't know what that's about. So this could be a 1200 that kills floppy drives. And if that happens, uh, Chris, I'm I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. But thank you for the sacrifice. So put that back on there. Flip this up and over. Make sure the keyboard cable is not getting all bound up. And we're just going to kind of <laughs> loosely set that on there because of the the faceplate issue. You can't. Uh, I can't lock this down. Floppity. Let's grab a floppity. Let's grab a floppity. Let's stick the floppity in the drive. Ooh, well that's a good sound. That's the classic sound we like to hear. And it says empty, which is fine. I got lots of, of the broken drive. So like this drive here, this drive, I put floppies in it and they'd show up. They'd say empty. And sometimes I could even start copying stuff to it. And then it just stop. Just die. Just dead, dead, dead. So this is the same floppy. Let's go ahead and do a format. Uh, no trash can, fast file. We're gonna do a full format. I wanna make sure it works. Oh my gosh. I don't wanna jinx it. I've had to get this far sometimes and then not initialize. Oh. Mr. Edwards, we may have a winner. Well, let's go to Dopus. Oh, look at that, look at that junk on the screen there. What was that? Uh, Mr. Edwards, we may have a, a winner. Let's uh, go to DF0 and we will go over to Eagle Player, Mods, and um, um, I don't know, we'll grab some mods. Uh, Okay, so now I have my mods. It's a compressed file, 573, so that'll definitely 
fit on the disc. Let's copy those over. And uh, hopefully these should just be a nice clean copy. No, uh, no funny business. It should just come straight over. Yep, it, it totally did it. It totally... All right, there's still some space on there. So let's uh, go back to Eagle Player, go back to Mods. Yeah, you can see this is this is going to be a painful way to get files over to this 3000. It's this is this is completely completely temporary. This is not how I'm going to do it, but we'll uh, do it this way just to get some stuff over there. See, now I got a progress bar. So maybe when you copy LHA files, it doesn't give you a progress bar, or is it just because it was only one item, it doesn't give you a progress bar? So you have to have one more than one item selected to get this. I don't know. I have no idea. I'm not. I'm not hip enough. I'm dopest. I love it, but I never really did learn how to use it. Let's. Uh, okay, so that's it. We have 12k left in this floppy. It is. It's done. It's full and happy. Let's try the thing. I couldn't get it to do before that we were talking about. What do we? What do we want to do? We want to transfer this ADF to a floppy. So every time I've tried to do this, it starts up, starts to work then flashes the screen, which is basically its way of saying, no, it didn't work. So let's do it. I'm going to tell it format yes, verify yes, and write disk. I warn you it's going to be overwritten. There it goes. Okay, so we're back, and I think it worked. It did the flash the screen thing, but... Um, it says DF0 uninitialized. I don't know if that means it worked or not. Um, state of the art, of course, is a freaky demo of coding magic. So I guess DFO uninitialized is the new term for DF0 no DOS in 3.2. I don't know. We'll hit quit. And let's uh, take all of this over to the 3000 and now see if this 3000 uh, can read the floppies that this 1200 wrote. All right, state of the art has been put into the 3000. Aww. Here, let's try that again. Whoa, oh. Oh, that was interesting. Hmm, cut. So now we're back over in the 1200. <laughs> um, so, yeah, oh, cue the music. All right, we're back. The old girl up and running. She won't fail us, right? It's three, it's 1.2. <laughs> Okay. Can always count on the 500. Now, this is an OCS 1.2, and as you can see, it's it's freaking out. We're really freaking out. In fact, I've never seen State of the Art freak out this badly before. But it's a 1.2, and it's NTSC. So it's obviously going to be playing way too fast. You can already hear that. But... Keep in mind, in America, that's how we always heard this demo, playing this fast. But sure enough, the exception of that weirdness in the opening, she's uh, she's ripping through that floppy disk <laughs> and all the weird custom code they did to make this happen. Well, the copper trick is sort of working. Again, this could be, you know, PAL issues plus Kickstart 1.2 issues. But at least we know the floppy works. The floppy that was burned using Easy ADF on the 1200. Neither the 1200 nor the 3000 would boot this at all, but our good old standby. 500 is doing the job. Not perfectly, but that's not really its fault. This disc was designed for a slightly different system 
or era. Oh, what a great demo. Classic, classic. Okay, guys, thank you so much for putting up with this video, my floppy adventures. As you can see, um, it, 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 they never go perfect. They never goes perfect. If you're, if you're getting into this Amiga hobby, as I've always warned, just be prepared. Be prepared for the madness and everything that's involved. Taking things apart and having giant boxes of spare parts because you will need them. And having friends that are gracious enough to help you out with new boxes of spare parts. Oi. Everyone take care. Oh, yellow screen. It's a good way to end. <laughs>